Hey, it's Aaron, and today I'm with a 2024 Prius Prime. Uh, the Prime is the plug-in hybrid model of the Prius. These, uh, this design, this new generation of the Prius came out last year. I believe it's the fifth generation. Beautiful car. So the Prius used to be kind of the ugly duckling. It's not so much anymore. It has more of a fastback look. Got rid of that double window in the back, which was really annoying to look <laughs> to see through that rear view. A uh, few other things that really improved with this. One of the biggest improvements is with this, uh, with this plug-in hybrid, you have over 40 miles of all electric range. Uh, I believe the official number is 42 miles, if I remember right, uh, but I got more than that every single time, so uh, especially around town. So really, really efficient. And then once you get on the highway, you're still in the 50s uh, for your uh, MPG. So very well done there. It's cold out here. This is the worst time to be driving a car like this, to be completely honest. Um, because no all-wheel drive and also uh, the tires that normally come with this are low rolling resist resistance and these uh, they, those are horrible <laughs> when the weather's bad but these have been replaced I would highly recommend that if you live in an area where it looks like this it, during uh, a good portion of the year that you have a set of tires or just replace those uh, um, LRR tires that come with it with something that is a little more all season like this. Uh, otherwise, this is just a wonderful car. There is more back seat room than there used to be. I am six foot three. I can sit in the back. I would show you all that, but it's really cold and I really want to hurry through this. Uh, the driver's seat is much better. So uh, let me talk about the design a little bit and I'll talk more about the drive quality uh, as we go along here. So looking at the design, you can see it, you can see it's still Prius, uh, but they, they changed a lot of things to get rid of some of that weirdness that it had before. So same profile, more or less, um, a little bit different, but pretty much the same. That is the Prius mark. So that's where you know that it's a Prius. And then you can see, uh, I left the engine running because it's very cold. So I wanted to keep the interior warm, um, but you'll hear it turn on and off as we go. Uh, so uh, profile is very sleek, very fast back in its look. A lot of the lines are gone and they went with these flatter panels with the exception of that cut down there. These are pretty flat. Uh, they curve a little bit, but they're pretty flat panels. That gives it a sleeker look. I like it. Um, kind of a, a if you remember back in the day, that's that's kind of the Aston Martin look. Uh, some of those companies, some of those higher end companies, and now you're seeing it more and more on regular ones. But I love this color as well. This is a great gray color. The snow is kind of changing it, but you get the idea. Um, anyway, very very well done design. Lots of visibility. So surprising amounts of visibility in this. Uh, this little pony mirror is now just mostly for looks. It's really kind of functionally useless when you're driving and parking um, because this window is so big. These mirrors are just the right size to get plenty of view going on in the back. Also, headroom is not impacted by this fastback. So I, at six foot three, I can sit in the back without bumping my head. That's a, that's a big deal. Uh, in the front, even more headroom. Plenty of cargo space in this. Uh, I made a short uh, Sam's Club run, so a uh, box store run with this, and had no problems getting everything in there. Um, big windshield, great visibility, as I said, and the drive quality has changed a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'll just talk about that now so I can wrap this up. Uh, the drive quality on this car is much better than it used to be. So, uh, it's much quicker on the uptake, largely because of that, that electric motor. Um, very, very quicker, very, very quick to get going. Not sports car quick, but quick. Also just very drivable, feels a whole lot better. My only real complaint is that when the gas engine kicks on, it's pretty loud on the inside, the engine itself, the noise. Um, tire noise is not bad at all. So they did a lot of damping this way, but not a whole lot this way. 
Uh, some of that might be because that is kind of an audible cue for a driver to know maybe I'm pushing it a little too hard or maybe I'm doing something that I shouldn't be engaging that engine right now. Um, most of the time though, it's just an annoyance. But uh, good stereo in this particular one, uh, really good driver safety and aid uh, systems. So really well done there. Um, all around a really nicely done car. I didn't ever think I would say that about a Prius, honest. And now I am because I am surprised at how good this car is. Anyway, I think that's what I got. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. I'm not gonna move the camera or do anything else. My hands are freezing. I uh, should have wore a bigger coat, I guess, or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. This has been Aaron. Talk to you again soon. 2024 Toyota Prius. Probably should have thrown that in. 2024 Toyota Prius Prime. Talk to you again soon. Subscribe.